Berlin, Germany. Empire Transport and Storage Company of Berlin. Calling Empire Transport and Storage Company of Los Angeles, California. That thing going on my truck? Yep. Then you can get another driver. I'm through. Okay. What's the matter with you, Merck? We've had four of our trucks wrecked in the past month, haven't we? And every one carried one of them hoodoo statues. Well, this is a fine time to lose your nerve. I can't help it. And I've got a strong hunch the whispering shadow is going to strike again. I'll take the truck out, Jack. What do you say? I'm not afraid. Makes a lot of difference when it's your kid brother, don't it, boss? Well, I... Uh... Thanks, Jack. Oh, wait a minute, bud. Just want to make sure your radio phone was working okay. The radios were working on them other trucks, but that didn't help the drivers any. Oh, cut out the crepe hanging, will you? Anything happens to that kid, Jack? Remember, I tried to warn you. Again, broadcasting. Hello, Sparks. Get my kid, bro. Gotta pick up a shipment of clear water. I can't call him right now. There's something wrong with the radio. Who are you talking to? Uh, Mr. Foster. He wanted to... Ah, here you go again. Laughing everything that happens in this department. Here, I'll fix it. You clean up this mess. What's the trouble, Steinbeck? What's the matter with the radio? How soon are you going to have it fixed? I don't know. My equipment is all right. There seems to be some outside force interfering. Outside force? The same thing happens every time there's an attack on one of our trucks. That means the Whispering Shadow is going to strike again. And my brother is on that truck. to get the warehouse? No, something's wrong. Don't worry. Nothing's gonna happen. Jack, you sure gave us a scare. 
What's wrong? Nothing, I hope. But we're playing safe. Change the route to next turn off that. What's that? Stay where you are. Whispering shadow. Look! It's a trap! Get going, bud! Fools, you cannot escape. Step on it, bud! Jack Foster. He's one of the Whispering Shadows men. They attacked another of our trucks and killed my brother. before. None of us has ever seen him. None of us knows who he is. You're headed for the chair, Kruger. Lying won't save you. It's the truth, I tell you. All I know is where we need to get our orders. Where is it? Come on. Tell us. I'll tell. It's
And the chief's coming up, and Robert Raymond's with him. You mean the famous criminologist? Yeah, passing through town and dropped off to see the chief. How did this happen? Well, we were quizzing this bird, and all of a sudden he dropped dead. It was no shot from the outside? Not a sound. May I, um, certainly, Raymond. Glad to have your opinion. Look. Strange. Thing's still hot. It looks like one of the electrodes that they use in the death house. That's exactly what it is. Your man was electrocuted. Electrocuted? Impossible. Well, where are the wires? The diabolical genius that conceived this had no need of wires. That man was killed by a radio death ray. You say your radio has been put out of commission every time one of these attacks occurred. How does your operator explain that, Mr. Bradley? Well, Mr. Steinbeck is in charge of the radio room. I'll let him answer your question. There's some strange influence cutting across our terminal that prevents us from broadcasting. Well, I beg to differ with you. I was in the radio business before I became vice president of this company. And I believe this so-called outside influence is an inside job. What do you mean by that, Jerome? Possibly Mr. Jerome is right. On more than one occasion, I caught him secretly fooling with the radio. Is this true, Jerome? Well, yes. As I told you, I know something about radio. And I have tested the equipment now and then. Has it ever occurred to you, Mr. Bradley, that the attack of the Whispering Shadow began about the time Mr. Jerome bought into this company? Mr. Bradley, I'll not remain here to be insulted by a subordinate whom I have reason to suspect. If you've anything to say to me, I'll be in my office. Is there anything else, Mr. Bradley? I don't think we need to detain Mr. Steinbeck any longer. Can you think of any reason why these attacks should be directed against your company, Mr. Bradley? None. No competitor who would like to see you driven out of business? We are unique in the field. Your losses must be considerable. It's not our losses that worry me. It's fear for our employees. Getting so I dread to hear the sound of a truck pulling out. I know its driver may never come back. If I only had some clue, however slight, to start unraveling. There's one strange thing in connection with the attacks. Every truck that's been wrecked was carrying a waxwork from Strang's house of mystery. Strang? You don't mean Professor Anton Strang, the magician? Why, yes. Do you know him? Only by reputation, and that's bad enough. Try some means of paying the visit. But that's yeah. easily arranged, and he'll never suspect you. Take your hat, sir. No, thanks. Where's Professor Strang? Take your hat, sir. Pretty lifelike, isn't it? Take your hat, sir. You're standing in the spring that operates it. <laughs> We'd better watch our step around here. Can I help you? This is the most lifelike one of all. 
The professor sure knows his girlish figures. <laughs> oh, I, I beg your pardon, miss. You wish to see my father. I take care of the gentleman, Vera. Professor Strang, we're from the Empire Transport Company. I'm Jack Foster, and this is Mr. Stevens, our insurance adjuster. Yes? Your last shipment was badly damaged in a wreck, Professor. We'd like to settle with you. I have a similar figure at the storeroom. If you'll come with me, we can discuss the damages. Thank you. Uh, I'll uh, stay here while you two talk business. <laughs> By all means. This way, Mr. Stevens. These little playmates of yours get kind of rough, Professor. <laughs> My dear Mr. Foster, I can't tell you how sorry I am. I hope you're not badly hurt. Foster, what's happened to you? Rather a nasty wound you there. You better take you to a doctor right away. Oh, I'm all right. It's, it's only a little bruise. You can't afford to take any chances. Let me call a taxi. We have a car outside. Company will mail you a check for the damages to your waxwork. Hey, what's the idea? I was just on the point of finding out something. You wouldn't have found out a thing. It was Strang who struck you down. Lucky he didn't kill you. Then we're on the right track. I wish you hadn't done it, Father. I'm afraid that assurance the justice suspects you. I know it does. Look at this. Doesn't know I took it out of his pocket. Mr. Robert Raymond, the world famous detective. Do you suppose this whispering shadow is wise to our secret? What's the difference if the shadow or this wise dick does find us there? Either way, you and me are rotting in jail for nothing. Maybe they won't find it. We hit it pretty smart. I ain't taking any chances. We've got to get out of here. Why, you're crazy. Them guys never miss. We risked our necks to get the stuff, didn't we? Well, I'll risk mine again to keep it. Not me. Boys, be careful with it. Hello, Professor. We have no further use for this after settling with you, so thought you'd like to have it. Put it down right there. 
Thank you very much. Don't mention it. I'm glad to be of service to you. Good afternoon, Miss Strand. How do you do? There's only one reason why he would take such a risk. I must take equally desperate action. What are you going to do? I strike at the warehouse tonight. But father, this is a terrible risk. Oh, you must be careful. Nonsense. It's any risk too great. And the price is the world's richest collection of jewels. Father, please listen to me. the warehouse tonight. We'll be waiting for it, and we'll capture the whispering shadow. You all understand my order? We understand. Remember, they will be on the lookout for us. The place will be well guarded. Nothing must go amiss. I will be Stop where you are. Well, what's the meaning of this? That's all right, Bill. Let him pass. Sorry, Mr. Jerome, but the place is being guarded. We weren't expecting you tonight. Do I have to get special permission to enter my own office? I've got work to do tonight. Does he usually come here tonight? I've never known him to before. Check in at Portland for transshipment. Okay, 34, that is all. Call and truck 42. Call and truck 42. <laughs> I thought I told you not to interrupt me. What is that same in the parents? The whisper shadow. Shall I call Mr. Raymond? No use alarming anybody until we are sure. Sounds to me like trouble with the aerial. Get up on the roof and take a look at it. Yes, sir.
And don't go locking yourself out on the roof again. Everything's working as planned. The door's open. You give me that package. Keep away from me or I shoot. You hear me? Oh, Mr. Raymond, Mr. Raymond, we just found a marksman tied up in the basement. Whispering shadows, sound the alarm.
Here you are. Why, Mr. Bradley, what are you doing here? I told you the Whispering Shadow was going to attack the warehouse tonight. You evidently expected him to come in the front door. No, but I have guards posted all around the building. There's no telling where he may strike. Have you any clue as to who the Whispering Shadow is? No, but I know what he is. An electrical genius, a master of radio and perhaps television. What on earth could he want in this warehouse? I can only guess. Something of tremendous value, hidden somewhere in this building. And I certainly hope you catch it. I'll be in my office if you want to. I've got the shadow. Help! Quick! Don't let him get away! Why, it's Mr. Jerome. So it is. You can let him loose. Mr. Jerome is above suspicion. In a mystery of this sort, Mr. Bradley, no man is above suspicion. I know he isn't. He killed the radio operator. I saw him. That's a lie. Now, just a minute. When did this happen? Just before the shadow's men attacked. Spark saw them and started to give the alarm. But Jerome struck him down. I didn't know it was Sparks. I thought it was one of the Shadow's men. Well, let's go upstairs and look into this. I nearly had it. So, this is the man I killed, is it? A pretty live-looking corpse. Is he the man who knocked you down? I don't know. What? Didn't you see him? No. If he had been where I could see him when he hit me, I wouldn't have got hit. This man Steinbeck has been accusing me to cover his own guilt. Jerome, think what you're saying. I know what I'm saying. The Whispering Shadow is a radio genius, isn't he? Well, Steinbeck answers that description. And he's got a private broadcasting radio behind that door. It isn't a private radio. It belongs to the company and is used for experimental work only. Mr. Bradley knows that. That is true. Any objection to our having a look? Not at all. There you are, Mr. Raymond. Look. 
No, you don't. What did I tell you, Raymond? He's trying to conceal this paper. Foreign language. Can you translate this? some kind of an engineering formula. Then why did he try to hide it? Because it is my secret invention. I don't believe it. And I'm surprised, Raymond, that a detective of your standing would swallow such a story. Are you the famous detective, Mr. Robert Raymond? <laughs> That's my name. Oh, then you are the man I'm looking for. Maybe you can solve this puzzle for me. Father! Father! Stand back! No, it isn't up here. It isn't down below either. I'd rather be shot than go back and tell a shadow we lost it. We may be shot when we do tell him. If the police don't capture us first, we certainly are in a tough spot. Whispering Shadow, you... Now, Walter, he can't be the Whispering Shadow. This is Slade, the jewel thief. He just escaped from the penitentiary. But he had the package the Shadow Men were after. <coughs> the same package, all right. Why, it's empty. Empty? And the girl or who? What girl? None of your business. He means Strang's daughter. She must have emptied the package before Slade grabbed it from her. Mr. Jerome? You'll have to take Slade back to town alone and turn him over to the police. I'm going to beat the girl in her father's house and nail the shadow with the goods. So, you let the girl trick you, you fool. Get into that car. We've got to act quickly. Hello? Let me have the intelligence department. Hello, is that you, Mac? This is Raymond speaking. I want you to look up Alexis Steinbeck. Find out what his foreign connections are. See if he has a criminal record. Okay, Matt. I'll keep in touch with you. Come in. Found this girl hiding downstairs and she refused to give an account of herself. I'll take care of this, John. Okay, Mr. Raymond. Well, Miss Tang. I suppose you realize that a serious charge can be brought against you. What? Trespassing? Oh, no. Nothing quite so simple as that. I know that you came here to help your father steal the jewels of the Tsar. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. And you're going to make a complete confession before you leave this room. 
We have very conclusive proof that your father is the Whispering Shadow. Do you suppose the Whispering Shadow is really Professor Strange? Who knows? No one has ever seen the Shadow. You haven't any proof. You're just bluffing. You'll change your mind about that when the jail doors close behind you. Oh, no, she won't. Keep your hand away from that gun. This way, miss. Quick. Get into that closet. Yet? There he is now. Never mind taking your places. We must act quickly. Foster is at the house of mystery, interfering with my plan. Ah, Mr. Foster, come in. Sorry to have kept you so long. I was just ready to retire. Don't try to bluff, Strang. I'm here for a showdown, and you know it. Showdown? My dear Mr. Foster, I don't understand. Then see if you can understand this. I have reason to believe you're the Whispering Shadow. You tried to rob the warehouse tonight. Tonight? How do you dare to make such... And your daughter got away with the loot. But away. Really? Young man, you're not only insulting, but ridiculous. My daughter has been home all evening. I suppose you can prove that. Why, certainly. She retired an hour ago. Vera? Vera? There you are. Down to sleep. Mr. Foster, I bid you good night. Just a minute. I don't know how your daughter managed to get here ahead of me, but I do know she was in the warehouse tonight. Take off that dressing gown. You're coming with me. Mr. Foster, you're making the greatest mistake of your life. running and see that we aren't interrupted. Isn't there any place? 
stop them. No! They come together!
Henderson for us? I'm afraid you're too late. Slade got away. Slade? You mean he escaped convict? Are you sure? Yes, I recognize him uh, by his picture in the papers. How long has he been gone? Just a minute before you came. He can't be far away, officer. Come on, Bill. Meddling fools. Who could have sent them here? Then it, it wasn't you. Me bring the police here? What did you do with the jewelers? I didn't get them. But Slade thought you had them, or he wouldn't have followed you here. I didn't have time to open the package before Slade snatched it from me. Then somebody took them out of the package before you got it. Who could have done it? It could only have been one man. He was near the roof when the package fell from the plane. Who was it, Father? One of the officials of the storage company. His name escapes me. Uh, oh, yes. Now I remember. It is... Any word from the shadow? Yes, we're at a way here. He'll give his orders at 11 o'clock. Mr. Raven, how could you, the greatest detective in the country, let the shadow attack this warehouse and get away with it without the slightest clue? What makes you think I haven't a clue, Mr. Bradley? I know what the shadow's after. You do? What is it? The most priceless collection of jewels in the world. The imperial jewels of the Tsar. You mean they've been stored here in the warehouse without my knowledge? Yes. Cleverest scheme ever devised by a thief to hide his loot. Yes? It's for you. Thank you. Hello? Foster talking, Mr. Raymond. I've trailed the shadows men and found their hideout. Right, I'll meet you there. Wait a minute. Wasn't that uh, Foster on the wire? Yes. <laughs> He believes he's found the shadow's hiding place. Well, aren't you going to call the police? No, will you do that for me, please? Tell them I'll meet them the first turn off beyond the country club. Steinbeck in his laboratory? No, Mr. Raymond. He's on the roof. Look next to the broken aerial. Well, then you better go up and help him. But, uh, There's I... nothing you can do here until the aerial's repaired. All right. is dead. He has tracked you down. Act quickly. My men are all posted, Mr. Foster. The place is completely surrounded. We can't wait any longer for Raymond. You'd better... Any sign of the shadow? No, but we're all ready to close in. Lead the way, Sergeant. to break in, huh? Well... Pass it all around, boys! Wait, wait. 
I have never seen the lock I open with this key. No one in there, Sarge. No one upstairs, Sergeant. Well, if there was anybody here, they've made their clean getaway. They've been warned. Did you tell anyone I found the Shadow's headquarters? Well, uh... Only Mr. Bradley, but surely you don't suspect him, the president of the company. I wonder if anyone could have listened in on the phone. Perhaps. Hello, Sparge. Oh. Yes, Mr. Jerome. I found somebody who can solve your puzzle for you. Oh, Mr. Jerome. Who is it? He's waiting for you at the end of the main aisle on the third floor. Thank you. Take a look in the radio room, see if Sparks is there. He can, uh, he can tell you better than I. Oh, Sparks? Well, it looks like he isn't here. But as I told you, there's the door to the roof where I saw a hand reach out and grab a package of jewels. But isn't that where Jerome mistook Sparks? One of the Shadow's men? Yes. Say. That means Jerome was close by when the package fell out of the plane. Do you suppose he could have taken the jewels? Well, it's worth looking into. Let's go down and talk to Mr. Bradley. You will never solve that puzzle. But, Mr. Bradley, we would have captured the Shadow's men if someone hadn't tipped them off. Did you tell anybody I discovered their hideout? Why, uh, come to think of it, I did tell Jerome. But surely you don't think that he... Come in. Excuse me, Mr. Bradley, but this is an urgent message for Mr. Raymond. Thank you, Jarvis. Patsy! Patsy! Just keep that car in sight, but don't let him know you're following him. He's getting away. Well, you told me not to let him get wise to us. Get ready. Okay, William. Hold there, Fortune. He isn't here. Why, I was just talking to him. He got wise and jumped out. Come on, search the boat. I got him! There he goes! Make a 
snap it, will you? Come on. She won't start. He's torn off the speed line. I've got your cover, you double-crossing crook. What do you want? You know what I want. Where'd you hide the stuff? I don't know what you're talking about. No? That is Jerome's house. Father, promise me you'll be careful. There's nothing to worry about, Vera. These smoke pots will make Jerome show me that the jewels are hidden. Don't try to stall me, Jerome. I know the jewels were in that bag. You tell me where you hit them, or... I'm not wasting any more time on you, Jerome. You'll tell me... Not a peep out of you. the jewels.
Come on, me. He has got the jewels. Vera, my child. I'm all right, Father. But you, I thought... Just a flesh wound. Never mind. A very slade. He got away with the package. Come. We must get him. Uh, Come. Mr. Foster's car went off the road. He may be badly hurt. Ah, sir, we have no time to waste on him. We've got to catch Slade. What am I going to do to Foster for this when I catch him? Ain't ever going to get that thing. Guess you'll start now. We'd better get Foster or the Whispering Shadow will... Shadow! The Shadow! Attention, all of you, including you three on the road. Slade has the package. He's heading south on the road from Jerome's house. Get it at any cost. Failure means death for us all. Never mind him. We've got the package. He's tricked us. The jewels are gone. No. The jewels are never in this box. Slade got the wrong package. The circuit is broken. Somebody's opened this door while we were away. Oh, but... Shh. They may still be inside. Act as if nothing has happened. There's nobody here. Wait. Can I turn on the translucent ray? Yes. He set potato to Mr. Bradley, president of the storage company. I'll put an end to his spying. Oh, Father, wait. Right. It is best not to let him know we suspect him. Follow him quickly.
Shadow. I see you have the package. Yes, but the jewels are not in it. We obeyed your orders to the letter. We have not failed. You did well. Those papers are of great value to me. Guard them with your lives. Hello, Empire Storage. Give me the radio room, quick. Begin broadcasting. Yes, just a minute. I will call him. Strang's place from top to bottom. And I found he's in this thing deeper than you suspected. Well, this is serious. I'll have to leave right away. You come back here and cover things at this end. Come in. Hello, Steinbeck. What's on your mind? I'll be gone for an hour or two, Mr. Bradley. I've got to see the steel company and some other people about the new radio tower. With your suspicions of Steinbeck, Mr. Raymond, shouldn't you keep track of him? Don't worry, Mr. Bradley. No matter where he goes, one of my men will be always trailing him. Well, what luck? Slade got away with the jewels. And Jerome did have them. Yes, plenty of people knew about it beside ourselves. Strang and his daughter were there. That's a very good idea. But Jerome isn't here yet, and I've got to leave. You keep your eye on him. kind of you, Miss Strang. Oh, please. Won't you even let me thank you for saving my life? Miss Strang, I let you make a fool of me once when you begged me to believe that your father isn't the Whispering Shadow, and now... And now, more than ever, you've got to believe it. How can I believe it when I know you and your father are after the jewels that were stolen from this warehouse? But my father has a right to those jewels. What right? That's the one thing I cannot tell you. Why not? Because it's my father's secret. If it were known, it would bring ruin and disaster to many people. 
You'll have to tell me more than that if you expect me to believe you. Well, will this make you change your mind? I don't know who the Whispering Shadow is, but I'm as anxious to capture him as you are. If you'll listen to me, we can work together and unravel this mystery. I'd like nothing better than that. Hello? Yes? The girl is here now. She's pulling the wool over Foster's eyes. Watch them both. I am about to strike. And they must not interfere. I'll take care of that. Calls for me. Jerome, I have you in my power. The papers you lost are in my hand. And unless you give up the jewels, the world will know who you are. No, no. I'll do anything you ask. I'll give up the jewels. I thought you would. In a few minutes, a lame old man will call on you. Have the jewels ready. I'll be waiting here in my office. And Jerome is not the Whispering Shadow. But he has the jewels. We mustn't let him get away. He won't dare double-cross the Shadow. He'll come back with the jewels and we'll get him and the Shadow together. The Shadow must have one of his radio receivers hidden in this room or we couldn't have heard his voice. If we could find it, it would help us to trap him. I wonder what this is. Do you suppose this could be it? You're looking for me? I believe you're expecting me, Mr. Jerome. Yes. Come with me. Wait here. I'll bring the jewels to you. Game's up, Jerome. You're coming to the boss's office with me.
Gee, I almost had. What was that explosion? What explosion? What's going on here? Well, what's happening, Foster? Why, the Whispering Shadow just tried to kill me. What? How? With this electric disc. I've seen one of these things before. When? The night the Shadow killed one of his own men at police headquarters. You know who the Whispering Shadow is? Tell us! Who is he? I told you the truth before. None of us has ever seen him. None of us knows who he is. You're headed for the chair, Kruger. Lying won't save you. It's the truth, I tell you. All I know is where we meet to get our orders. Where is it? Come on. Tell us. I'll tell. It's...
How did this happen? Well, we were quizzing this bird, and all of a sudden, he dropped dead. There was no shot from the outside? Not a sound. May I, um, certainly, Raymond. Glad to have your opinion. Look. Strange. Thing's still hot. It looks like one of the electrodes that they use in the death house. That's exactly what it is. Your man was electrocuted. Electrocuted? Impossible. Well, where are the wires? The diabolical genius that conceived this had no need of wires. That man was killed by a radio death ray. How'd this get here, Foster? I found it in Mr. Jerome's office. What? Jerome's office? Yes, that's why I'm here. I tried to prevent Mr. Jerome from giving the jewels to the Whispering Shadow. Foster is lying to cover himself. I would have trapped the shadow if he and the girl hadn't interfered. Well, what girl? Strang's daughter. Strang is the Whispering Shadow, and Foster is working for him. Is this true, Foster? Has Miss Strang been here with you? Well, uh... I can answer that. Foster and Miss Strang were both snooping around Mr. Jerome's office, and I just saw her running away with a package under her arm. So you're in on this too, eh? Oh, just a minute, Foster. What else did you see, Jarvis? I saw Foster attack Mr. Jerome. If you were close enough to see that, how do we know you didn't take the jewels? And just before the explosion, I saw him throw that death disc at Mr. Jerome. But the lights, right? That's enough. Well, where are the jewels? I didn't get them. Don't try any tricks on me. I know you've got them. I tell you I didn't. The girl, she was... What makes you think? You can double-cross me. Don't shoot, Steinbeck. I tell you. Mr. Steinbeck. Mr. Steinbeck. You are wanted on the phone. All right. I'll be there. You heard me. Yes, sir. Say, Mr. Jarvis, maybe you can help me solve this puzzle. Why, sure, Sparks. I'm a wizard at that. Here, let me show you. This is the ship when they want to check. I'll see you later, Jarvis. You see, Mr. Jarvis, the idea is to get that first ring over that wire there. See that? Say, I thought... Oh, gee. Well, I must get back to my office. Foster, I wouldn't have believed that you... Just a moment, Mr. Bradley. Foster was acting under my order. I told him to watch Jerome. But I don't understand. Why didn't you arrest Jerome? He practically admitted he had the jewels. Because Jerome is not the man I'm after. My job is to catch the shadow. You'll never take him alive if I get to him first, Raymond. Don't forget he killed my brother. Oh, it's you. Why, what happened to you? I suppose you don't know your father tried to kill me just now. My father tried to kill you? Yes, with a death disc you planted in Jerome's office. Why? My father isn't here. Where is he then? I, I can't tell you. He was gone when I got back. You're lying to shield him just as he lied to shield you the night I saw you in the warehouse. Young man, you're not only insulting but ridiculous. My daughter has been home the whole evening. It was a waxwork figure of you. You don't understand. My father put it there to protect me from slaves, the escaped convict. Then you came to my rescue. And to show his appreciation, your father brought the shadow men in to kill me. Keep your motor running and see that we aren't interrupted. It's Slade! Get him!
Somebody may stop them. No! They come to jail! Well, that's the kind of a monster the whispering shadow is. He'd even kill you, his own daughter, in order to do away with me. My father isn't a whispering shadow. You must believe me. Why should I lie to you? Now, I'm going to I wish I could believe you. But I know those are the shadows men out there. I'm going to kill my brother. But I tell you, my father had nothing to do with it. And after that, you ask me to trust you. Oh, if I could only make you believe that my father is not the Whispering Shadow. You want to know who took the jewels just now? Well, I'll tell you. It was Jarvis. Jarvis? Then that's where your father is. Jarvis. He's here now. Just came in. <clears throat> Guns are dangerous things, my friend. Who are you? What do you want? Who I am does not matter. What I want is a package of jewels. That's a signal from one of my men. You have just two seconds to decide, my friend. What is Mr. Jarvis's room number? Mr. Jarvis isn't in. Oh, oh, yes, he is. I saw him go in this room. When you get through with this gentleman, I'd like to have some stationery and postcards. Mr. Jarvis' room number is 321. Thanks. Uh, how, how about my stamps? I was just passing and heard a shot fired in one of your rooms upstairs. A shot? Why, it must be the man that was asking for Mr. Jarvis. I thought he acted strangely. But we'd better go up. Drop that gun. I've got you covered. Pick up that gun, miss. Be careful not to destroy his fingerprints. It'll prove that he killed Jarvis. I didn't kill him. This man's trying to frame me. There's the real murder in that car.
crying. Oh. Is that your father? Oh, he couldn't be. He tried to run me down. It must be the whispering shadow. He murdered Jarvis to get the jewels. We've got to catch him. Foster and the girl are after you. Don't worry. He'll take care of himself. Phone the police and tell them Foster killed Jarvis. And tell them you have the gun with Foster's fingerprints. Turn onto the south road. The trap is set. Tell them Foster killed Jarvis. And tell them you have the gun with Foster's fingerprints. Turn onto the south road. The trap is set. We can't stop now. It's our only chance to catch the Whispering Shadow. Come on, boys. We've got to stop them. They're coming out. That's funny. They must know we weren't hurt or we'd have stopped. The trap, the whispering shadow. They're hiding in the brush. Scatter and find them. What? 
good did you do? Whispering Shadow got away. But still, they have to set you a murdering the daughter. With the evidence the Shadows framed against me, they could hang me. Then you must go back to town. But I've got to. It's the only way I can clear myself. Well, here's where I get off. Oh, wait. I just thought of something that may have a bearing on the murder of Jarvis. What? I told you that Jarvis got away with the jewel. But I didn't tell you what else I... I'll make you pay for this, Jarvis. Come on, come on. You're only making things worse for yourself. Well, where are the jewels? I didn't get them. Don't try any tricks on me. I know you've got them. I tell you I didn't. The girl, she was... What makes you think? You can stop across me. Don't shoot, Stanley. I tell you. Mr. Steinbeck. Mr. Steinbeck. You were wandering on the phone. All right. I'll be there. Steinbeck was covering him with a gun. Steinbeck? Then he had reason to murder John. Where are you going? To the warehouse to check up on Steinbeck. Both be called to testify at the inquest. Don't let anybody in that room until the coroner gets here. This is Mr. Jarvis' room. Oh, thank you. You can't go in there, miss. Why not? I'm his sister. His sister? Why, uh... You see, miss... Mr. Jarvis had a... a bad accident and... Uh, an accident? You don't mean he... Yes, miss. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't cry like that. It was all I had in the world. Oh, let me see him. Please don't keep me away from him. Now. It's against the rules, miss. Oh. But, uh... Sure. You'll do no harm. Go ahead in, you poor darling. made a fine mess of your end of the job. Shh, be careful. Didn't you get the jewels? No. Foster put it in before I had a chance. That means they're still in the room. Yes, and a policeman on guard at the door. There's still a chance. The room next door is empty, and there's a connecting door into Jarvis' room. You mustn't go. The policeman will get suspicious if he sees you with it. Very nice room, sir. It isn't here. Did Jarvis put anything in the hotel safe? Not that I know of. If he did, he'll have a receipt. Look through his pocket. Not me. I wouldn't touch him for a million. Oh, men are funny, DuPont. You had the nerve to kill Jarvis. You're afraid to touch him now he's dead. 
It is Mr. Jarvis' room? It is. We've come to identify it. I'm Mr. Bradley, and this is... Sorry, gentlemen, but my orders are not to admit anybody. But this is Mr. Raymond, the famous criminologist, a friend of the chief. Who's in there? Only uh, Mr. Jarvis' sister, sir. Sister? Mr. Jarvis, have a sister. Open that door at once. away by that fire escape. Who could she have been? We knew that. It has helped us to clear Jack Foster. Clark! Doggone, I nearly had it. Oh, hello, Mr. Foster. Hello, Spark. Time back around? He went out and heard this morning, right after he had a phone call. I wish he'd come back so I could go out and eat. Why? Go ahead. I'll watch the place till you come back. Will you? Gee, that's swell. I won't be going long. Jerome, who did this? Slade. He thought I had the jewels. Where did you get that? That's what I came to see you about. How did you know it was mine? Did you read any of my papers? Enough to find out that you're the pretenders of the throne of... Shh. Well, Foster, now you know my secret. What are you going to do about it? That depends on you, Jerome. Are those the papers the Shadow threatened to publish if you didn't give him the jewels? Yes. Why? Then Steinbeck is the Whispering Shadow. Steinbeck? Yes. The man I've sworn to get because he killed my brother. Where have you been? Why didn't you meet me at Jarvis Hotel? I almost ran into a police trap. I was there. I posed as Jarvis' sister. And I found this. And the Imperial jewels are in the hotel safe. Why didn't you claim them? Because they found out that he didn't have a sister. Then we must get them tonight.
The Imperial Jewels are in the hotel safe. See that you do not fail this time. Remember, I will be there. We will not fail. Everything's all set for the shadow, when he comes. Wait here for me. What's she doing here? Why, she's the Shadow's daughter. What makes you so sure? None of us have ever seen the Shadow. And we can't afford to take any chances. I'm on a trailer. Time for that now. I'm going to get the shadow himself. Yes. You swear my life away, will you? <coughs> I've got you at last.
What happened? Green, meningitis, and tied us up. Then they took the safe up in the elevator. When was it? Just a few minutes ago. We can get in a moment too soon, Lieutenant. Untie these men. The elevator is the third floor. Up the stairs, no noise. We'll take them by surprise. going on here? That's the man that killed Jarvis. Miss Strang will tell you the rest. I'm going to get the Whispering Shadow. What about this, Miss Strang? I heard him admit that he killed Jarvis. Where were you? Hiding in this room. I came here to find out anything that might clear Mr. Foster of the murder. This man and a woman came in and searched the room. Who is the woman? I don't know, but I'd recognize her if I saw her again. Take his man to headquarters and book him for the murder of Jarvis. Yes, sir. Oh, Mr. Raymond, look for that bomb in here. You may go now, Miss Strang, but I shall want you at headquarters in the morning. That gun, Steinbeck. Get away from that door. You're the whispering shadow. You killed my brother, and now you're going to pay. I didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not the shadow. No use, lying. I saw you get away from the hotel with that package. I ought to shoot you down the way Buddy was shot. 
But a quick death too good for you, Steinbeck. One of us isn't going out of this room alive. Can't describe the men that tied you up? No, sir, I can't. Palace Hotel. For you, Mr. Raymond. Hello, this is Foster. I'm at the warehouse. I just killed the Whispering Shadow. What? You killed Strang? No, no, not Strang. Steinbeck. Steinbeck? Yes, he had the jewels all right. I'll be right over. among the trucks, scatter and search for him. Shadows men. Quick, I've got a car. Oh, yeah? Who are you? I'm Foster, the Empire Transport Company. It's full of junk. Foster Drifters. What's the trouble, Foster? Steinbeck must have worked fast. His men just tried to kill me. 
Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Let's go upstairs. In there. He isn't here. Then the whispering shadow is still alive. Now, there's no use lying, DuPont. We know that you killed Jarvis. Your fingerprints are on that gun. Yeah, but so are Foster. How are you going to prove which one of us shot him? Miss Strang's testimony will take care of that. Where is Miss Strang? You said she'd be here. She may be on her way. I'll find out. Hello? Yes, this is Professor Strang. Who? Yes, Mr. Amos. I told your daughter to report to police headquarters this morning. Why isn't she here? She hasn't been home all night, Mr. Amos. I'm afraid something has happened to her. Yes, Mr. Raymond. If I hear from my daughter, I will notify you at once. What can have happened to her? Look! He knows what's happened. She's been put out of the way to keep from testifying against him. What have you done with her? Get in, Foster. I want rid of your fingerprints now. Good enough to hang you, DuPont. Miss Strang told the truth. DuPont's fingerprints and a woman's were all over Jarvis' room. Uh, we bet you did the rights, DuPont. Why did you kill Jarvis? I didn't kill him. I tell you yes, why. Yes, you did, and I'll tell you why. Because the Whispering Shadow ordered you to kill him. No, no. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about the Whispering Shadow. Oh, uh, yeah? And what were you doing with the Shadow's death disc that we found on you? Come clean, DuPont. Who is the Whispering Shadow? Speak up, man. He can't hurt you now. The disc isn't on you. What could do to do me to talk? Are you going to hang me for killing Columbus? The Shadow's signal. The Shadow! He'll kill me! He can't. The disc isn't on you. Be warned, DuPont. If you talk, you die. Take your own warning, Shadow. If you kill DuPont, you'll kill your own daughter. The Countess? Your daughter? Then Strang is the Whispering Shadow after all. Do you hear me, Shadow? You're not going to kill the man I love. I've changed the wiring on my disc to match the wavelength on DuPont. And it's hanging over your daughter's heart. The death ray that kills him kills her! Fool, you think you can outwit the shadow? Can't we do something, Mr. Raymond? We've got to find this track. Very possibly. Save me, Jack! I'm in doubt it's with hell! Save me, Jack! <laughs> I've got to save her. Send the squad. Step on it! Now I've got you! Give me those jewels! Ow! I'll come on! Why don't you answer me, Shadow? You know you're not going to kill your own daughter! Dupont! Can you hear me? I'm not going to let him kill you! Don't worry, Countess. I haven't got the disc on me. The Shadow's only bluffing. <laughs> he can't kill me. You've got the shadow licked, DuPont. He can't harm you. Now tell us everything you know and save your neck. You mean I... I won't hang if I talk? Speak up, DuPont. It's your last chance. All right. I'll talk. The shadow... I... No, no, DuPont. Don't talk. He'll kill you. I've got to talk, Countess. The shadow can't harm me.
Don't worry, Coward. I haven't got the disc on me. The shadow's only bluffing. <laughs> he can't kill me. You've got the shadow licked, Dupont. He can't harm you. Now tell us everything you know and save your neck. You mean I, I won't hang if I talk? Speak up, Dupont. It's your last chance. All right, I'll go. We've got to No, no, Dupont. Don't stop. He'll kill you. No, no, I tell you, he'll... There, there. You're all right now. The danger's past. And I can tell you, and that's what will happen to us if we don't get those jewels. But they weren't in that package. The shadow must have made a mistake. The shadow never makes mistakes. Foster had the jewels all right, but he double-crossed us. They're somewhere in the warehouse. Well, we can't do anything till we hear from the shadow. Vera, my child. I'm all right. There's nothing to worry about. But I must go down to Street Headquarters first. I'll be home as soon as I can. This is what killed him. The shadow didn't need the death disc. The felt clasp was wired to receive the death ray. Murder. Cold-blooded murder. Send a squad of men to arrest Professor Strang. I've heard about your automatic figures. Do you make them to order? Yes, madam. What sort of X work have you in mind? Uh, I'm not certain just what I do want. Uh, uh, but if I could see some. Oh, I have many sketches, which I will be glad to show, madam, if you will step this way. I warned you not to kill Dupont. I begged you not to. Now you're going to suffer the way you made me suffer before you killed him. What makes you think I killed him? Because I know you're the whispering shadow. You dare? Yes, I dare. I'm not afraid of you, shadow. You've hurled your last death ray. Where you are? 
Frank! Another murder, eh? Keep him covered. Three shots fired. But you ain't been shot, Sergeant. Why, her hat's all burned. Yes. See that red mark across her forehead. So you killed her the same way you killed DuPont, with your infernal electric ray. Put the bracelets on him while I phone headquarters. Oh, you'll recognize her, eh? She's the woman who kidnapped me last night. Then that's why you killed her. No, no, no. He didn't know anything about her. He couldn't have done it. Hush. Tell them nothing. Steinbeck! Steady. Oh. Oh, steady. Steinbeck has explained everything to Mr. Bradley. Yes. He has a story to tell that will clinch the case against Strang. You'll hang for this, Professor. No, no. My father is innocent. Innocent! Innocent! Bah! He is the Whispering Shadow. Why else should the Shadow Men allow him to take the Imperial Jewels from the hotel safe last night? How do you know that? Because, because I saw him run away with them. I took them away from him. You took them. What have you done with them? I, I went to the warehouse to put them into the safe. Foster, he attacked me. He nearly killed me. Ask him where the jewels are. Where did you put them, Foster? Well, sir, I, I put Hold them... Hold on, Foster. Mr. Raymond, you forget yourself. As president of the Empire Storage Company, I demand to know where those jewels are. The Shadow's men are still at large, Mr. Bradley. And as long as Foster keeps his mouth shut, the jewels will be safe. You're quite right, Mr. Raymond. Let's get the prisoner to headquarters. There, there, my daughter. You mustn't worry. Everything will be all right. Come on. I must talk to you. Please. In here. the only one I can appeal to. You've got to help my father. I can't do it. I won't do it. You've no right to ask me such a thing. I'll tell you why. When your father's attacked, made our drivers afraid to take their trucks out on the road. Then you can get another driver. I'm through. Say, what's the matter with you, Merck? We've had four of our trucks wrecked in the past month, haven't we? Well, this is a fine time to lose your nerve. I can't help it. And I've got a strong hunch the Whispering Shadow is going to strike again. I'll take the truck out, Jack. What do you say? I'm not afraid. Makes a lot of difference when it's your kid brother, don't it, boss? Well, I... Uh... Thanks, Jack. Oh, wait a minute, bud. Just want to make sure your radio phone was working okay. The radios were working on their mother trucks, but that didn't help the drivers any. Oh, cut out the crepe hanging, will you? If anything happens to that kid, Jack, remember, I tried to warn you.
looks like he's after us. Get ready, Cut. Pull up there. Don't shoot it. Back. Gee, Jack, you sure gave us a scare. What's wrong? Nothing, I hope. But we're playing safe. Change the route the next turn off that. What's that? Stay where you are. The whispering shadow. Look! It's a trap! Get going, bud! Fools, you cannot escape. Step on it, bud! the monster that killed my brother? No, no, he didn't. My father isn't the Whispering Shadow, and he can prove it if only you will help him. Prove it? How can he? Oh, that I can't tell you now. My father's lips are sealed until the Imperial jewels are in his hands. Yes. And when he gets them in his hands, goodbye jewels. How can you be so hard? Would you turn the jewels over to the police? All that my father wants is to be sure that they are safe. And if I do? Then my father can prove his right to them, and also that he is not the Whispering Shadow. All right, I'll do it. I'll phone you when I get them. Sparks! They're all gone and I almost had it. Never mind that now, Sparks. Where's Truck 64? Truck 64. Checked in at Clearwater an hour ago. That means they won't be back to the warehouse at 8 o'clock tonight. <laughs> that, that's what he said.
cage, eh? Came from the loading platform. I look after Foster. You get ready. Getting away in the car, but we're going after him. No, one of you stay here and watch the warehouse. Yes, sir. Where were you when this started, Raymond? I found one of their guards tied up a few moments ago. I tried to call the police, but the line was out of order. Strange. I've had trouble with mine, too. They must have put the switchboard out of commission, but I can still use the radio. What happened, my boy? I had just taken the jewels out of the truck and was about to... They're gone! You mean the jewels? Yes, I had them in a belt just before the Shadows men attacked me. And they got away with them. Foster, you should have let me have the jewels in the first place. This never would have happened. What happened? Yes, sir. Well, you ought to know. No. I was sitting here working on my puzzle. I was just about getting a... Well, something hit me. Gee, I hoped it didn't bust my puzzle. Well, never mind that now. Go get police headquarters on the radio. Tell them the warehouse has been attacked again. I can't get a thing. It's dead. Where's Steinbeck? Oh, you mean Mr. Steinbeck? Yes. I don't know. Uh, the last time I saw him, he was in his research room. I suppose you don't know that Sparks has been hit in the head and tied up and that your radio has been put out of commission. I am in the midst of an important experiment. Never mind about that. Go fix that radio and call the police. Mr. Bradley is the only one who can give me orders around here. We'll see about that. Up where you are. Where are those jewels? We didn't get them. You're lying, young. 
Come clean or you'll never get away from here alive. I lifted those jewels in the first place. And I mean to get them back. Oh, Mr. Bradley, we'd better organize a thorough search. I've checked up with the guard and one of the Shadow's men didn't get away. Not likely any of them would hang around here after getting away with the jewels. But I'm sure I have to leave at once. Well, then I'll walk out of the car with you. Supposing your gang does get the jewels. You'll have to turn them over to the Shadow. Do as I say, and we split 50-50. What a chance. Everyone who has double-crossed him has been mysteriously killed. And the worst of it is, none of us know who Shadow is. Well, I know. Who is he? Professor Strang. And I can prove it. You haven't received any message from your mysterious chief since Strang was arrested for murdering the counters, have you? No. I believe you're right. It certainly does look like he's the whispering shadow. Of course I'm right. Better get out of here. You're going to tell me who the Whispering Shadow is or... It's strange. They released Strang from jail this morning. Well, what's the difference? We'll get the jewels and be out of the country. Not me. Strang is the shadow. I don't dare double-cross him now that he's free. Well, tell me who has the jewels and I'll get them. If the shadow finds out that I'm even working with you, it will be the finish for me. I've got to get back to the rookery. All right. If the shadow's up there now, you'll be absolutely convinced that it's Strang, won't you? Yes. And then if Strang should happen to be found dead, you'll have no one to be afraid of, except me. Uh, I'll let you know what happens at the rookery. Out. They released me. The body of my supposed victim mysteriously disappeared. So they can't prove that the murder was committed. Father, what are you going to do? I'm going to get the jewels from Foster. You're not going to harm him? Not unless I have. But you realize those jewels mean more to me than life itself. Has there been any message from the Shadow? Not yet. We'll be lucky if he doesn't kill us all. We're leaving the warehouse without the jewels. What happened to you last night? Why, I... He's nearly captured in the warehouse, and I, uh... What excuse have you this time? Well, speak up. 
The warehouse was too well guarded. We got Foster, but before we could get the jewels from him, Where's your father? Oh, never mind. You wouldn't tell the truth anyway. Why, Jack! There's no use trying to play innocent. Your father is the Whispering Shadow, and you're working with him. How dare you make such an accusation? You're the only one that knew I went to the warehouse last night. And when I got there, the Shadow's men were lying in wait for me. Did they get the jewels? You know very well they got the jewels. And by this time, they've turned them over to your father. I'm going to get them and prove your father is the Whispering Shadow. There's someone snooping around the side of the house. You two go out the back way, while you and I will sneak out the front and we'll surround them. is tying up in the next room. It's strange. Did you tie him tight? He'll never get away. Gentlemen, the Whispering Shadow's power over us is ended. We have him here in the flesh, and we can put an end to him forever. We'd all like to be free from the power of the Shadow, but look what happened to Kruger and the Countess. The Shadow made quick work of them. Yeah, he wasn't a prisoner then. You don't realize the power of the Shadow. This is suicide. couldn't do anything. He even got away from them. Well, this is one thing the Whispering Shadow can't get away from.
poison gas. How did you get in there? Is Strang still in there? <coughs> no. He escaped through the secret panel, into the hallway. We've got to get him now. Stop! Or I'll shoot! Drop that gun! Get over there, my boy. Strang's a shadow, all right, or he couldn't have gotten out of that room. Don't you see we're all doomed? Let me young double cross the shadow. Maybe we can square ourselves with the shadow by taking care of these two. Don't shoot. Wait. We warned you not to double cross the shadow. <coughs> Turn around, smart guys. Drop those guns. Get there hard way, Young. I'll get over there, Foster. Now keep your faces glued to that wall if you know what's good for you. You too, Foster. I call. The only way Strang can harm anybody is with his radio death ray. I threw my radio disc away. But you can't escape that man. He's a monster. Monster, huh? And why hasn't he killed me? I give him plenty of reasons to that time out at Jerome's. When I had Jerome in the corner and... I know the jewels were in that bag. You tell me where you hit him or... I'm not wasting any more time on you, Jerome. You'll tell me. Not a peep out of you. Got the jewels. It turned out that Jerome tricked us both. If Strang is as powerful as you think he is, wouldn't he have finished me off after that? You've nothing to be afraid of. All right, I'll get the jewels if uh, you'll trail along behind me. And if Strang shows up, it'll be just too bad for him. Where have you been? I went to the rookery. 
father. Everyone's beginning to believe that you are the whispering shadow. And now I suppose you are beginning to suspect me. No, I'm not. But Jack Foster said. Foster! Well, let me tell you. That young man has interfered with my plans for the last time. them at the warehouse, and if Jack Foster interferes, stop at nothing to get rid of him. Yes, Mr. Jerome, I will get him right away. Calling truck 42. Calling truck 42. Hello, Tom. Say, Mr. Jerome wants to know if you can... What's the trouble? I don't know. He must be dead. Where's Steinbeck? He's in his research room. Now what have you done, Steinbeck? You better get back in there and fix this radio. What have I done? If you'd stay out of this radio room, we might not have so much trouble. I've had enough of your insult, Steinbeck. I'm going to take this up with Mr. Bradley at once. This isn't the first time this has happened. Aren't you letting your personal feelings sway you, Jerome? Not at all. I just questioned Sparks, and he told me that on the night the Shadows men attacked the warehouse, he was in the radio room and... Uh, Check in at Portland for transshipment. Okay, 34, that is all. Call and truck 42. Call and truck 42. <laughs> I told you not to interrupt me. What is that same in the parents? The whispering shadow. Shall I call Mr. Raymond? No use alarming anybody until we are sure. Sounds to me like trouble with the aerial. Get up on the roof and take a look at it. Yes, sir. Don't go locking yourself out on the roof again. Everything's working as planned. The door's open. Don't you see? Steinbeck arranged all this so that the Shadow's men could get into the warehouse and steal the jewels. And they would have got away with them, too, if it hadn't been for Jack Foster.
I tell you, Steinbeck is either the whispering shadow or he's working with him. Well, there may be something in what you say, Jerome. I'll investigate Steinbeck. You'll find out that I was right. Hello? I've got to see Mr. Foster right away. Mr. Foster's not in. We expect him back. Would you care to wait? No. I'll come back. Can you tell me where Mr. Bradley's office is? Uh, go straight down the corridor and turn to your right. His name is on the door. Oh, thank you. I'll be right down. Don't make a sound, Bradley. You're taking me back to your office. What do you want? I'll relieve you of those jewels now, Bradley. I haven't any jewels. Unless you mean... Uh, you know what I mean. I saw you take those jewels from Foster after we knocked him cold. Where are they? In a safe deposit vault. In the security trust. Then I'll trouble you for the key. Now, write an order to the trust company saying that you're sending me to get something out of the box for you. It's no use, Bradley. You're licked and you know it. Now turn around. This is just to make sure that you don't call for help after I leave. Now put your hands behind your back. I'll take a chance through the main entrance. You two slip up that fire escape. Now get over to that closet. Well, well. The Whispering Shadow's daughter. My father is not the Whispering Shadow. Oh, no? Well, we'll see if he tries to do anything to me while you're with me. Get in there, Bradley. not the way out. We're leaving by the fire escape. You are mistaken, Young. You are not going to leave this building alive. You can't kill me with your death ray because the radio disc isn't on. I have other ways of dealing with traitors. I've got your daughter here, and if... Get out onto the fire escape.
We'll have to go out through the hall. Don't try any of your tricks. Get your father on the phone. I'm not going to let him get away with this. Is there anyone here looking for me? Yes, a young lady. I think she's gone to Mr. Bradley's office. There's no answer. Stop. If you pass through that window, you sign the death warrant of the shadow's daughter. Let call his blood. Stop. If you pass through that window, you sign the death warrant of the shadow's daughter. Let's call his bluff. Where'd that shot come from? Oh, it's Bradley's office. What happened to the girl? What girl? Why, miss, uh, I thought there was a girl in the room when I came in. I'd better get a doctor.
The paper is of no use without the key of the safe deposit box. I don't know who got the key. I'll find out. Our mission must succeed. Once we get that key, the Imperial Jewels will be ours. Please. You've got that paper and key from Young, oh, and I want them. <laughs> Give me that key, or I'll. Nothing to worry about. I'll... Another of your little... Er, uh, accidents. Eh, Professor Strang? Don't close the panel on my account, Professor Strang. What would the police say to a second mysterious death by electricity in your waxwork? It was an accident. My father didn't. Ah, my dear girl, I said it was an accident. Come to the point, Steinbeck. What do you want? Just what Slate wanted. The order to the trust company and the key you got from Bradley's office tonight. I didn't get the key. Ah, so Slate got it. That's why you killed him. No, no, I... Never mind that. You have the order. Give it to me. Mr. Steinbeck? I... I just found him like this. I didn't kill him. Why should I? Did I say you killed him? But he seems to have something you want. Why are you searching his pocket? I'm not answering him. Huh? Looks pretty bad for you, Steinbeck. Yeah. The Strang and his daughter. They're around here somewhere. Then we shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Now you go first. Yeah? Is Miss Strang there? I must speak to her. 
What's the trouble, Foster? This is Raymond speaking. Raymond? Come over to the warehouse at once. Bradley has just been murdered. Bradley murdered? The Whispering Shadow? I'll be right over. You don't seem much surprised at Bradley's death, Steinbeck. You're a fast worker. Get going! Father, where are you going? To the warehouse. Jerome must have the key. Oh, but Father, the police will be here to investigate Faith's death. You come with me. No one knows we were here at all, except Steinbeck, and he is under suspicion. Come. But a murder has been committed, Mr. Jerome. We ought to call the police. Not yet. I'm the head of this company now that Mr. Bradley is dead. When it's time to call the police, I'll do it. But the Whispering Shadow killed my brother and... To Lou Foster, you bungled enough when you blabbed about the murder to Detective Raymond. Come in. Good work, Raymond. I always suspected it was Steinbeck. Did you get a confession from him? Never mind that now. Where is the... Oh. How was he killed? The death ray. We found this on him. Where were you when you let him have it? In Strang's radio room or in your own room? I told Bradley repeatedly that he was the whispering shadow. You'll not get out of it so easily this time, Steinbeck. Answer. Hello. Foster speaking. Yes, he's here now. It's Sparks in the radio room. Calling for Steinbeck. Find out what he wants. Give me the message, Sparks. Tell him that phone call of his keeps on sounding in his private room. A code call, eh? It was a code message we caught him receiving the night the shadow struck. Come on, you're going to answer that call. Wait for me here. But, Father, you'll be in danger. Let me go with you. Do as I say. You decoded the other message, Raymond. What does this one say? There's only the last part of the message here. It says, Murder of Bradley, a mistake. Put power in hands of Jerome. Signed, the Red Circle. That proves that Steinbeck killed Mr. Bradley. I didn't kill him. You only heard half the message. I'll tell you the truth. I am an agent of the Revolutionary Party of... I know that. But what about this? Don't you understand? Jerome is the Whispering Shadow. He killed Bradley to get the jewels. Well, what good would that do him? The jewels are in the bank vault. No one can trust him up Mr. Bradley's written order. That's just it. 
Shadow forced Mr. Bradley to write such an order and give up the key to the safe deposit box. The Shadow! Attention! The Shadow commands. My enemies are in the radio room. Get them. It's your last chance. It's Steinbeck. Don't let him get away. Turn on the lights! He's gone. There he is. Sparks, what happened? Somebody threw that coat over my head and knocked me down. It was Steinbeck. The roof. We must get away. Not without the key. At last, my mission will soon be accomplished. Now's our chance. Not so fast. Give me that paper and the key. Stop where you are.
father. We must get away. Not without the key. At last, my mission will soon be accomplished. Now's our chance. Not so fast. Give me that paper and the key. Stop where you are! Put him up, all of you. Line up there. Face the wall. The shadow's whole gang, boys. Pick up the gun. Mrs. Strang, I want to apologize for suspecting you of being the Whispering Shadow. Look here, boss. I thought you said you had the shadow. He got away. Which way did he go? Oh, don't worry about that. He'll be back. He won't leave without making another attempt to get this. What is that? The key to the safe deposit box containing the jewels. Mr. Foster, you hold in your hand the fate of my country. You may not be the Whispering Shadow, Strang, but you have a lot to explain. That is just what I intend to do, Mr. Raymond. I'm the foreign minister of the Federated Baltic States. The crown jewels, the whispering shadows trying to get, were entrusted to me to bring to America as security for a loan. The escaped convict Slade stole them from me and hid them here in this warehouse. I suppose you can prove your identity? Excellency, why didn't you tell us all this before, instead of allowing us to believe that you were the Whispering Shadow? Because the resulting publicity might have bankrupted my country. I heard shooting, Chief, and grabbed this man trying to make his getaway. Now maybe you'll believe that Steinbeck is the Whispering Shadow. I found these things in the receiving room just after he ran out. What about this, Steinbeck? I told you I was a special agent sent here by my country to stop the loan Strang was trying to make. I'm not the shadow. I never saw that cape before. How do we know these things don't belong to you, Mr. Gerald? You attacked me right here and tried to get the order for the jewels. Is that right, Jerome? Yes, I did. I feel that I have a right to those jewels. You have a right to the imperial jewels? What right? My right of inheritance. I'll tell you who I really am, even though it puts my life in danger. I am the only survivor of the House of Boltinoff. The jewels were confiscated from us by the New Republic. You mean you are the exiled Prince Alexander? Yes. I was in this country when the revolution occurred. Fearful for my life, I took an assumed name. I bought an interest in the storage company to help me locate the jewels which I knew were hidden in the warehouse. Has anybody seen my parcel? Oh, there it is. I've never known you to lose your puzzle before, Sparks. No, and it won't happen again. Mr. Jerome, both you and Steinbeck have explained your motive. But there's nothing to prove that one of you isn't the Whispering Shadow. Hey, hey, what's the idea? Don't do that, Mr. Foster. Say, Foster, what's come over you? You hold him and I'll show you. I just found this in my pocket. The shadow's death disc. How did it get there? Never mind that now. 
Watch. Watch that disc. So that's where the death ray came from. Foster, how did you figure it was this machine? This strang really put me on the right trail. I? Yes. Although you didn't suspect the right man at the time, remember you told me you and your father? There's nobody here. Wait. Did I turn on the translucent ray? Company. I'll put an end to his spying. Oh, Father, wait! You were right. It is best not to let him know we suspect him. Follow him quickly. At that time, Miss Strang and I thought that Mr. Jerome was the whispering shadow. interfered with me for the last time. What's going on here? Well, what's happened to you, Foster? Why, the Whispering Shadow just tried to kill me. What? How? With this electric disc. I've seen one of these things before. When? The night the Shadow killed one of his own men at police headquarters. How did this get here, Foster? I found it in Mr. Jerome's office. What? Jerome's office? Yes, that's why I'm here. I tried to prevent Mr. Jerome from giving the jewels to the Whispering Shadow. Foster is lying to cover himself. I would have caught the Shadow if he and the girl hadn't interfered. Well, what girl? Strang's daughter. Strang is the Whispering Shadow, and Foster is working for him. Is this true, Foster? Has Miss Strang been here with you? Well, uh, I can answer that. Foster and Miss Strang were both snooping around Mr. Jerome's office, and I just saw her running away with a package under her arm. So you're in on this too, oh, eh? Oh, just a minute, Foster. What else did you see, Jarvis? I saw Foster attack Mr. Jerome. If you were close enough to see that, how do we know you didn't take the jewels? 
And just before the explosion, I saw him throw that death disc at Mr. Jerome. Get the light, That's right. enough, Foster. I arrest you as an agent of the Whispering Shadows. I'll make you pay for this, Jarvis. Come on, come on. You're only making things worse for yourself. the jewels. I didn't get them. Don't try any tricks on me. I know you've got them. I tell you I didn't. The girl, she was... What makes you think? You can double-cross me. Don't shoot, Steinbeck. I tell you. Mr. Steinbeck. Mr. Steinbeck. You are wanted on the phone. All right. I'll be there. You heard me. Yes, sir. Say... Mr. Jarvis, maybe you can help me solve this puzzle. Why, sure, Sparks. I'm a wizard at that. Here, let me show you. This is the ship when they want to check. I'll see you later, Jarvis. You see, Mr. Jarvis, the idea is to get that first ring over that wire there. See that? Say, I thought... Oh, gee. When Miss Strang told me that, I felt sure it was Sparks that had planted the death disk in Mr. Jerome's office. How could you kill at a distance with a broadcasting current? It's impossible! It wasn't a broadcasting current. That's what did it. Sparks puzzle. Yes, a harmless looking toy. But you just saw it transform a broadcast wave into a death ray. Then Sparks is the whispering shadow. You see, Sparks, we have you dead to rights. But how did you happen to conceive such a crazy scheme? Crazy? I'm a great radio genius. I invented the most deathly machine ever known. The death ray. All I needed was wealth to make me the most powerful man in the world. That's why I wanted the jewels that were hidden in this warehouse. But how were you able to project the shadow and the whispering voice? Well, I suppose I might as well show you. Give me that cape and hat. Jerome. Yeah. all of you. Jack, what are you going to do? We can't let the shadow get away. Would you have cared very much 